Hello, cool guys. I'm James here with Killzone. Hello. And we're going to teach you how to cheat at Gymcraft Labyrinth. <laughs> uh, I Cheaters have... never win. Cheaters always win. We always win. Uh, we're just going to continue. Uh, continue. Let's go to any level at all, really. Uh, just to show you how OP this is, we're going to turn on all the everything. But James, it recommends a wizard level of like 40-something or higher, and waves get tougher faster probably is like what was 80. Little... Oh, man. I didn't put our points in. And just... I'm just gonna dump them where they were. And don't even worry about it. it was... I'm gonna dump them in here, and then it was like something else. Where did I put that last one? Probably the chain hit or the uh, oh, something. All right, let's do this. All right, don't care about that. Uh, just unpause it for a few seconds and up, and uh, let's. Well, not yet. Yeah. I'm All right. right, first, first trick that we're gonna show you is how to get. Infinite manas. Using the uh, mana refresh rate, of course. Yeah, we're not actually going to give you infinite mana. We're just going to use the mana refresh rate to give you a point where it's basically infinite mana. So, what you got to do first is go to your window. And if you're like us and dumb, you got to find the fa Flash Player plugin. But most times, you can just go to the thing that says Jim Crab Labyrinth. I can't find it on here because, once yeah. again, we're stupid. Or it's but, on the window list. Either one. <clears throat> you set your value type to double. That's very important. Scan type exact value. Go to your first scan and type in your value of 1.0. Or, if you're fancy, 0, 0. Yeah. And do your first scan. Now you're going to find a bunch of values. Some of them are going to change. doesn't matter. As you can see, your mana value multiplier is 1.00. Until you hit mana upgrade. <laughs> which is, if you want to use the hotkey. M. And if you want to actually hit the button, mana. it's right over here. But uh, we just use the hotkey. Then you pull up your cheat engine again, and you change your value to 1.05 to emulate the 1.05. Then you hit next scan. When you find this value, you found your mana pull multiplier. Double click on it, and it'll come down to here. Then you double click on value, and change it to whatever you want. I prefer the classic 9,999,999. That's it. I swear. <laughs> Don't even count the nines. I did it. Uh, then you look up here. And your mana replenish rate is now... Not even that. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot. Yeah. So when you unpause the game and then you hold down refill mana pool, it goes up to that. It just goes up constantly. You can hold it down the whole game. Now we're going to show you the other trick that most people don't actually know. First, you go into Cheat Engine and just get rid of all this crap, basically, because it doesn't matter anymore. Yeah, practically. I'll just click new scan, and then you can delete that. Uh, now, we're going to create the highest level possible gem. Go ahead and unlock this. Go. Okay. And this. Go. And then we're going to make uh, armor. Oh, shoot. Sorry. Yeah, we got to... Sorry, we don't have enough mana yet. we got to extend our mana pool infinitely. <laughs> All right. All right, now we're good. You got to pause it. I mean, I didn't want you to run out of mana. Alright, let's do that. That. No. Oh, you want more? I want the armor. Oh, you want armor? Anyway. Yeah, I want to do all three. Oh, okay. You don't have to use this combination of gems. This is just my favorite combination. So we're going to combine mm, all three. That's going to be weird then. Yeah, it's going to be fine. Alright, you say so. That's why I leveled up the triple thing. Now, as you can see, this is a grade 13 gem. And if you look at our duplicate mana cost, which is one of the dark gray values at the bottom it's 946,099 and we don't have that much and I am not holding M until we get that much I mean technically we have that much like if you unpaused it actually we might not because you see yeah oh yeah we actually don't but either way that cost is oh. now what you type in to cheat engine boom 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 first scan uh, Most almost, likely it's going to be it. Yeah, right nine times out of ten it finds it on the first try. Double click it. Double click it. Change it to one. Hit OK. Now, now your duplicate mana cost is one. And you hold down the upgrade button. Hotkey U, of course. Now you type in that number. Which is 319, 411. 319, 411. New scan. First scan. And if you've done this right... That should be the last time you ever have to type in that number. Because now, when you click this and change it to 1, hit OK, go back, 
and duplicate it. Yeah, and as long as you don't upgrade while unpaused, it will go back to that number. Yep, and every time you just go back, delete your previous field, or record, I guess. Do you want to delete the select item? Yep. Yes. New scan of that same number, find the value, double click it, change it to one, hit OK. Level it up. We have now a level 49 gem that is capable of doing uh, 10,228,139,658 minimum with a 100% chance to deal 332,859 damage, a 100% chance to hit 356,635 targets, and each hit reduces armor level by 507,934.14. We're going to put that in right here, and then we're going to hit go, we're going to hit fast forward, and then we're going to destroy everything. I'm holding control. Now we're going to send all the waves. Now, of course, um, eventually we will have to upgrade it since we have the waves get stronger faster. Yeah, we should probably go ahead and level it up anyway. Um, we have the number. Yeah, so... I'm just gonna go. As long as we never get rid of the number, it's fine. Yeah, as long as you never get rid of that number, you just delete your previous record that you used. New scan, first scan, and that number will always be right as long as you don't go beyond that number. Change it to one, go back in. And never, ever upgrade while unpaused. Yeah, if you upgrade while unpaused, that value will change. And that's not good. Cause Unless, of course, you un upgrade unpaused every time, but yeah, that's, that's really hard to remember. That's stupid, I don't like it. Either way. Change it one again. Go. Level it all the way up. 73 should be enough. Uh, should be. It might get a little uh, hairy near the end, but eh, again, we'll as long as we it. keep the value, it's fine. Yeah. And uh, we're just going to send all the waves. And we're also going to go into Cheat Engine, enable Speed Hack, and turn speed up to times 5. Just because this takes way too long if you don't. Uh, there shouldn't be a creature in the game that can survive any of this. Um... It's just not really possible. Uh, and this is pretty much the only way that I figure is possible to beat Endurance Mode. Because in Endurance Mode, they don't technically plan on it to be beat because it's supposed yeah. to be a survival mode. There's yeah. only about 1,400-something 1, 1, waves. But, um, you know, that's supposed to be infinite. You're not supposed to beat that. There's no way you're ever supposed to beat that. Especially not on waves get tougher faster. Yeah, we're on waves get tougher faster, which should mean that the enemies are coming out at a rate of like having like a million HP, and then right after that, like ten waves later, having a billion HP. Yeah, I think I think once you get near the end, they start having like an an armor of like nine billion and like health of like nine billion. But the reason we can kill those no matter what is because ours is doing m way more than that and they eventually max out they can only get so strong unlike us <laughs> who can get infinitely strong forever and uh honestly if you really don't get it just leave a comment and we'll explain it to you or anyone else who sees it and understands it will explain it to you it's not really complicated but if you're not good at cheat engine it could probably be something that frustrates you it took us a while to figure it out. We didn't actually look this up. Yeah, I had we, to go through and find what variables I could manipulate. Yeah, like, we got so fed up with this game being so difficult that we just straight up cheated. Like, we figured this out. If anyone else has done it, they haven't posted a YouTube video. Trust us, we looked. <laughs> we wanted to find how to do this. We wanted to figure out how to get a level 73 gem. The highest we ever got was like 30. Yeah, because we had to do it the long way. <laughs> yeah, and there's a long way. We're just not going to explain it because it's dumb. Uh, but as you can see, we're on wave like 7, 700 or 800 or something like Oh, 820 something. And you can see their hit points going up. You can see their armor level going up. But they'll never get higher than more, like oh, damage. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I was wrong. It was 10 trillion. Yeah, they max out at like 10 trillion HP. And we're doing... More. Yeah, we're doing like <laughs> 323. Is that more than a trillion? No, that's a trillion. Yeah, that's a trillion. So we're always doing more HP than they have. And they cannot have enough armor that we can't break it. Because we're always breaking at least 1 billion armor. In a hit. So, uh, 
This is basically the only way to beat endurance mode on waves get tougher faster. You can probably beat endurance mode without cheating, but this is the, probably the only way to do it on waves get tougher faster. Because there's nothing you can create that'll do as much damage as HP they have and as much armor as they have on your own. Even if you get all the level ups as high as you can get them. And uh, we're going to show you how much XP you get at the end of this as well because we had all the upgrades on that we have right now. And uh... Now, of course, we didn't get any of the battle amulets because we didn't take the time Yeah, to do if that. you want to get a lot of XP, you can go for these battle amulets, which once you get to this point, you can just take this gem out and then put it back in whenever you want. And it just, like, let me just take that out again and show you. It just obliterates the whole field. Oh, and pause it real quick. I'm going to turn speed hack off and show them that real quick. Just so they can see it at real speed. That was like times five speed. Take gem out. Dumb, 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 dumb. So as you can see, all these are giants. All of them have tons of armor. All of them are really OP. Uh, there's like 200, 300 of them on the board right now. Now there's none. <laughs> yeah. It's going to show that one more time, just to show you how powerful one gym can be if you get it up to level 73. It doesn't even need to be an armor-breaking gym. At this point, it just does enough damage straight up to just break through their armor and kill them. 300 on the board. Zero on the board. It's uh, it's pretty good. And we're almost done. We're on wave like 113. Yeah, we're actually really close. But I'm still going to turn speed hack on because I don't want to wait on it. Not 20 because that's going to break it. Yeah. And then we'll turn speed hack off. As you can see, we got 7 million-ish XP. And uh, go back to the map. And then, uh, we're now le wizard level, uh, two. We're from like 35 to 300? Yeah, about 35 to 300. Then if we go back in, forward to skills, uh, 2,377 skill points. Like, we can't spin them fast enough. <laughs> like, that was insane. Like, you're starting with 1,304% higher initial mana. Why would you ever need this? Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to undo that. Just so it goes back to this. But uh, as you can see, that's how you cheated this. As always, I'm James here with Killzum. And I hope you have fun cheating at Jimcraft Labyrinth. As much fun at cheating at Jimcraft Labyrinth as we did. God, that sentence was horrible. And I apologize.